Hello everyone, my name is Let's see, and welcome back to Lennon the Line. Now, I believe we have woken up in a tent of sorts, just because of the shape of the background on the wall there. So let's get going and see what we have in store. I've already inspected that be in there. Ooh. Nausea fields. Gosh, what's this going to be about? Hmm. Hey, you woke up. How you had asked me to keep an eye on you. She's talking to our strategist up there. Welcome to the residence, mate. Sheep shoulder. Soldier, sorry. <laughs> shoulder, soldier. Oh, hello you. I'm starving. Mum is looking for some food for me, but this is getting more and more difficult. I'm afraid Mum will stop eating to feed me and she'll be sick if she does it. I wish this nightmare had ended. So I wish this nightmare had ended. That makes, that makes sense. Nausea Fields, struggling to keep up since 2003. Harriet, leader of a revolution. This is not going to be like a similar thing where we have to face a being of darkness to be able to free everyone from this nightmare. Strategist Tent, talk to Harriet or Rudolph at any moment for more information about the revolution process. Hi there. Sheep. You're finally awake. One of the soldiers commented about you and I rushed to have a look. Every rebel in the castle increases our chances to win the battle. I hope you're well, young sheep. You're very different, though. That's because I'm a lion, but we'll just keep that part out. I am Harriet, leader of the Sheep Revolution, daughter of the Queen Sapphire, as you should know. But tell me, what's your name? Lenin? I never heard of you. But of course, there are so many sheep in the castle, it would be impossible to know all their names. How did you escape, Lenin? Was the Queen Sapphire with her guard down? We're trying to find a way to destroy the castle barrier, but we're running low on resources. Um, <laughs> I'm a bit sleepy yet. <laughs> uh, sorry, oh gosh, I'm sorry, I'm new here, I guess. Hmm, Sheep Revolution, what's happening here? Maybe being misinformed is better than having a presence that's too new. Hmm, what do you mean new here? Are you not from the Sapphire Castle? Oh my, where are you from then? Oh, sorry. The castle is where all of us sheep live. I did not know you were not from here. I know that some hyenas have been isolated for some time in a village a little distant from here, but I've never heard of lost sheep out there, so we are within the same land as that, just in a different part. Hmm. I realise you're kinda out of place here. Let me quickly summarise the situation to you. The one on my side is my strategist, Rudolph. He may also brief you in. Hello, Lennon. Nice to meet you. I hope you understand what we are going through and maybe you can join us. It seems like you're kind of lost, as Harriet said. But there's no time for it here. Time runs against us. Doesn't time run against us all? Earlier, when I, Harriet, daughter of the Queen's Sapphire, still lived in the castle, an era of great prosperity overwhelmed our people. But as we increased in number, it also grew hard to feed everyone. We began to realize that this could even be our end. What happened next was worse though. The queen, allied with the priest of the dream, changed her temper all at once. I didn't recognize my mother anymore. We had plans to fight the hunger of our people, but she came with this limited and immediate discourse. I had never seen her like this before. She just stayed in her room, secluded, always saying, I don't want to leave, I'm busy. The priest said that he could help her, but no one could imagine the way he would use it to make it happen. Let me continue from this point. Harriet, my commander. It was at this moment that I, Rudolph, was used by the queen. 
as I attended all of the orders in an unquestionable way. At the time, I didn't realize the mistake I would make. I helped the Queen and the Priest of the Dream create a machine, the Morpheus system, that would make everyone sleep. Gosh. The promise was that with the Morpheus system, there would be a device that would make everyone have their needs met, even hunger. It was perfect, but the price? Too high. The system would come in contact with a brain membrane. The dual matter. Only that way the process could work. What happens is, if the system discontinues, everyone who uses it will die. In other words, the only way to enjoy its benefits is to give yourself eternally to the system. Harriet denied the use of it, but the Queen decreed with maximum law its use. Realizing the error that was the creation of such a machine, I, Harriet, and many others fled to the castle. Would rather starve and survive by vegetation, by vegetating on an insane system. Of course, the system creates a dream world for its users, and everyone inside lives a perfect life. Except that's a lie. Living a dream is like living your real life. Because that isn't like living your real life. We won't give up finding another way to fight our hunger, and we would find a way to wake everyone up without letting them die. Let's fix it up, but we need help. Now that you know all of this is happening, Lennon, will you join us? Maybe the Queen will hear someone who is out of town from where you come. There is life beyond dreams, right? There is food, right? So please, help us. So, Lennon, what do you say? As we're talking, more powerful the Queen's army becomes. We need to destroy the castle's barriers, enter the castle, and find a way to reverse Morpheus' system without everyone losing their lives. But before that, we need to create a functional animation against the barrier. Unfortunately, our resources are running out. Can you help us? Um, if you guys need help, maybe I can do something. Oh, good to hear that, Lennon. We barely know each other, but you will fight with us. I have no way to thank you. So if I spoke for a long time. As you may know, the conversation is a presumptuous, presupposition. Um, me and me, me and English, for goodness sakes, presupposition of social interaction. And I want to remember myself for it all the time. After all, if my mother's plans succeed, we would never speak again. But let's not focus on negativity. Breaking down the barrier would be easy, but I know we can do it together. Let's go inside my tent for a sec. I'll show you how we can destroy the barrier and what we need to do it. Hmm. Me in English sometimes not very good. Even worse when it comes to other languages. I.e. non-existent. Hmm. Look the model on the sorry, look at the model on the table, Lennon. It is a representation of the castle and its barrier. It's guarded by guards and by the queen herself, of course. Unlike other queens, unlike uh, unlike the other queens, probably she won't hesitate to battle. I know my mother. However, she's so different right now. I used to be able to talk to her. Now she doesn't listen to me or even get the problems of her insane plan. Anyway, the thing is, this barrier can only be destroyed by a specific cannonball. We already have cannons but not the cannonballs themselves. Hmm. But the cannonballs are made out of prov resource. There are lots of provs, Lennon. Provs of fire create explosions. Provs of water can create false rains. Provs of light can clear the weather and so on. We need prov, Jill, as the barrier was created by magic mind agile, sorry, agile corrosives. Only the Jill, a magic cannon, chem, oh, for goodness sakes, chemical cannonball will be able to destroy it. <coughs> Excuse me, maybe, maybe, maybe those terms may make no sense to you, but they make sense to us, to our realm. 
We send our guards to collect the necessary ingredients for the creation of a cannonball, but there's always an obstacle to their cap capabilities. We don't know what is happening. We think maybe the royal guards are intervening with all the sheep, but you... You're not an ordinary sheep, are you, Lenin? No, I'm not. I think maybe you're not even one of us. But you're not one of them either, right? Rudolph, my friend. Can you tell Lennon what we need and where things were supposed to be? Of course, my commander. Lennon, pay attention. To create the ammo against the barrier, we'll need the following items. Two units of cloud pill. One unit of clock cloud. These items are given by our nature, but usually they are not easy to find. The clock cloud is in a cliff area northwest of here. There lives a seer. She's quite different from all other sheep. Also, she's been sleeping for a long time, so we didn't succeed in getting the item with her. But we're trying to figure out how to wake her up. The cloud pearls, however, are divided. One in the west, where we sent a renegade castle guard and his partner to get it. Both didn't return yet. The other one is east of here. There's sort of a labyrinth there. The elder sheep used the labyrinth as a tent, sorry, a test for our adulthood. Okay. Sadly, none of them survived our famine period, and those who didn't surrender to Morpha system passed away. In short, you have to go through the labyrinth, Lennon. Our ritual has created an aura of fear in the younger ones, and none of them dare to enter the labyrinth without an elder. I know it seems like a lot to do, but I believe that part of our fear and constant defeat has been shaped in recent times because of the symptoms we carry. For some, it doesn't seem much, but the battle is always hard for those who fight them. We ask for your help, but we understand your limitations. Do you think you can do it for us? Um, of course, there's no problem with that. Why can't we do that option? Did we not do something prior beforehand? I don't think so. I think all of these last options require something beforehand. I don't want to disappoint you, but I don't know if I can do it. I'll help. I'll try at least. Be sure we're in this together, Lennon. I feel that your will to fight is great, and this fight aura is the same one I have. Together we can go through this. Hmm. Lennon, if you forget something or if you need any help, don't hesitate to talk to us. Others are doing the same task you're doing right now, except for the labyrinth, as I said. Gosh. Hmm. Anything in here? That in the corner. An empty box of a wall. Something that looks like a painting of this region. Lovely. A camping lamp. There's a trace of flammable material. We don't want to go in there. A sleeping bag behind it. A wooden semicolon shaped object. Shaped. Hmm. I used to get along with my mother. Or I thought I did. After all, what kind of relationship was this? I always knew it wasn't a dream. But I didn't think it would become a nightmare. Harriet. Lennon. Hope your help makes a difference. Is there anything you want to ask? Um, do any of you guys know anything about a backpack? A backpack? Sorry, I didn't see anything. However, there is a sheep responsible for the sale of some objects in the area above. She always finds new things out there. New things, sorry. Maybe she has some backpack. Okay. Lennon, we're in this battle together. We'll be victorious. If you need help, please talk to Rudolph. Um, do you think there will be a way to wake everyone up? What is this thing you're carrying on your back? Nothing. Uh, not for the time being. We will come back. But just not at this point in time. Okay, so this is the edge of the village. Hmm, we came from that tent. Hold on, let's save for the time being. Just in case something happens. I don't want to go for the introduction again. Not because I don't like it, but just because of time. Time is never on our side. No matter what situation we're in, time is never on our side. 
let's see, utility shop. We don't sell stuff. It's for all the people. There's no mine in the revolution. Hi there. I hope you're doing well. Do you like this one, rookie? Come over here then. Hey, hello, rookie. Feeling lost around here? Need something? Medicines? A spear? What? The backpack is yours? There's no mine in the revolution, rookie. I'm sorry, but we found it in the cloud petal desert. There's no name on it or anything. I can't just give it to you. I don't know if you know, but everyone that needs something from here needs to do something for the cause, okay? The revolution won't occur for itself. If we don't fight, we'll sleep forever. So let's make a deal, rookie. Outside the tent, a little above, there's a lot of hay needing to be prepared to become food for the few fugitives. We have little food left, but we must feed ourselves as we try to find a way to win this battle. What happens is that the chief, the chef is having a hard time to cook for everyone. If you give him a hand in the kitchen, I'll give you the backpack I found. Just walk to the tent that's on the side of the hay and you'll be in the kitchen. What do you think? No drowsiness while preparing the food. Did you hear? Now get to work if you want the backpack, rookie. It's the only way. Sure thing, boss. Sure thing. I want the backpack. It's officially mine. Kitchen. It may not be much, but it's ours. Come and eat with us and savor the real taste. Not the unreal dream taste. Yes, exactly. Would you like some assistance? Welcome, a newcomer in my kitchen. The name is Alexander. I'm a cook of a revolution. Well, now I'm part of a revolution. I used to be the raw cook some time ago. But the morphous system made me obsolete. But who are you? Lennon? Nice to meet you, Monsieur Lennon. So how can I help you? What? Oh my. I can't believe on it. Do you want to help me? I see. Your backpack, huh? It's a nice deal, Monsieur Lennon. I know you need your backpack as soon as possible, but I can't refuse help in such a situation. Of course you will cook with me. This will definitely wake us up for battle. Monsieur Lennon, fear not. I'm one of the best cooks in the world, I guess. Well, I don't know a lot of cooks, but you know what I mean. With my guide, you will cook hay, f <coughs> Sorry. cook hay for everyone in the most appetizing and practical way, I'm sure. When you're ready, just go to the empty cauldron by the top of it and fire it. We'll have a delicious meal together. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, wait, wait. Okay. So are you ready, Monsieur Lennon? Can we start our delicious cooking? Uh, let's do it. Fantastic. So, get to work. Hmm. First of all, Monsieur Lennon, we'll use some vegetables and the hay today. Hmm. Do you see this card above us? They are our ingredients. As I speak to you, You'll see that they are, respectively, carrot, hay, radish, and tomato. Monsieur Lennon, now is the time you need to pay close attention. See the cards below each of the ingredients. Sorry. They also represent each of these same ingredients. Okay, see the cards below each of the ingredients' cards. They also represent each of these same ingredients. Okay. Hmm. When you need a specific ingredient, you need to click on the card that matches the ingredient. So the one below. For example. Right. Oh, I'll have to do it with the mouse. No. Um, how do you do it? I can't. Oh, not this again. I can't physically go towards it. Like, I'm click. Okay, that's right, Monsieur Lennon. I think you got it. Hmm. Every round I'll tell you, Monsieur Lennon. The agreement you need and you must click on the corresponding card. Now we can start the real thing, but remember, Monsieur Lennon, 
You only have three chances per time. If you lose them, you'll have to restart. Hmm. Okay, the wooden spoons next to the cards represent the number of attempts remaining. Let's begin. Carrot. Radish. Hey. Tomato. Yep. Okie dokie. Change places. Oh no. You've got to be kidding me. Another radish. Oh, where did that one go? I believe it was this one. Okay, good. Now a cow, I believe that swept. Nope. Uh... Okay, good. A tomato again. Uh, this one. Thank you. Hey. Oh, we just did that one. <laughs> What? Uh, I know. We can't go on now. I'm not. I swear they just magically. They magically change. Because the end one was not hay. Now, only the final edition will to complete the taste. The cards will shuffle again. Oh, uh, goodness sake. So it's radish, carrot, tomato, and hay. I don't like this whatsoever. I know. Goodness sakes, this is so hard. Radish, okay, is that one there? Carrot. Uh, yeah. Good. And a bit more hay. There we go. Excellent. You did it. Let's finish this and then have lunch. Whew. That was more difficult than it realised because you have to keep remembering which way round the cards are. Hmm. Well, thanks. One once you're learning for your first time, let's just say, well, I thought we tasted better food. Yeah, your own. But what could we do about it now, right? You gave your best. Hmm. Now, probably there'll be a line of sheep waiting outside for lunch. Thank you for helping me, Monsieur Lennon. You sure made the difference. Talk to the sheep in the store and say you helped me. She'll give you, or give to you your backpack without a doubt. And if you want some food, feel free to help yourself. It's your creation too, after all. Hope to see you fighting with us, Monsieur Lennon. Au revoir. Thank you. We're starving. We need to eat. Mm, I guess it's ready. Who cooked a meal today? It doesn't smell. Did it burn? Rotten ingredients? Hey, it wouldn't be strange after all. We have limited resources, but it's a sad thing. We need to eat. Well. Maybe the morphous system didn't make us pass the situations as humiliating as spoiled food. Don't say that, we won't do this. Ouch. Yeah, don't you dare spread rumours around. We did it. Hey, rookie. So, did you cook with a chef? Good to know it. Okay, okay, you can have a backpack now. You really were interested in this backpack, eh? I don't risk cooking for any item from here, rookie. I would destroy the world if I tried. Anyway, I'm the rookie at the kitchen. Now I think I can call you a veteran. So it's decided. You're a veteran, that's all. I mean, there's nothing special about it. I just wanted to change your nickname. Oh, forget it. Just get that backpack. Veteran. Thanks. Finally, your backpack returns to its owner. Yay. Why does our backpack just wander off? <laughs> as soon as we go to sleep, we decide to have walkies. Hmm. So we have... We've somehow not managed to get the, the second memory, which I believe you can only get 
within the first sort of dream realm. I'm not interested in the CD mix. We're not here for the music, we're here for the game. But, of course, we go through the game while listening to music. Which is good. It's a time for the rebels to escape from the castle, it's locked. Ouch. That tree looks a bit perturbed. Not sure why. Mm. Sapphire Castle. No good can come from exploring up there. Oh, hello. Sh what a pleasant surprise. In these crisis times, I don't see many wanderers, you know. Sometimes an unfamiliar face reminds me that we still have time for the new. Well, I don't know if you're really up to talk. But you sure know what we're going through, right? I'm doing a general research of information about the dua matter membrane. Apparently it's a nebulous field for us sheep. Also, I'm realizing that we have as fact about what we have about morphosis. Oh, me and English today is not compatible. Maybe, in part a lie. Anyway. I'm still researching and I can't say anything for sure, but if my calculations are right, maybe we can save... Anyway, no more speculation. Okie dokie. I'm supposing that going up this way is dangerous. So yeah, these are the barricades. We're on duty in castle. In case of the Queen sends troops and attack us, we're ready to warn Harriet at any time. Also, if we can get ammo for these cannons, we'll be able to destroy the barrier and invade the castle. Sapphire Castle. All the sheep must return to the castle to proceed with the sleep process. Yeah, I'm not going towards that cloud, thank you very much. I don't fancy having our game cut short. That cloud looks no good. Let's see what's this way then. Oh look, an elephant. Cloud Petal Desert ahead, be warned. The Cloud Petal Desert is a labyrinth created by the ancient speaker to guide sheep in adulthood. What's this here? A tiny flower, you feel like there's wheeze going through your head. Ouch. No, thank you. An elephant statue. It seems to be able to be moved. However, you have no strength to do it. We have all the strength in the world. How dare you say we don't have the strength to do it? Hmm. Definitely a labyrinth. Hmm. If you are looking for, looking for the awakening, head up. Otherwise, you'll return to... Oh, goodness sakes me. If you are looking for the awakening, head up. Otherwise, you will return from where you came from. Here, the labyrinth is vast, but the correct way, unique. Sheep speakers' words. So up here then. Heading up. Don't get down, don't cheer up. But when you're balanced, do the right thing. Go right, even though it says down as well. Hmm. In this life, I've seen many things squares, rectangles, unfinished beads. I'm rational, I know, but I need my mind to stop saying you left me, so. So go back to where we came from. Here we have. There are so many difficulties. You can see one of them. It's a miracle that your choices led yourself close to the end. Hmm. This one's more difficult because it doesn't lead into a di direction. Uh, there's so many difficulties. Um, you can see one of them. It's a miracle that your choices lead yourself close to the end. I don't know. Something there. Uh, it's a one in four chance. I'm sorry. Nah, I don't know. 
it's it's a bit of a stupid one really now you see the wind it's blowing like a feeling visual it has a presence that grows with you it blows to the right hmm it's time for the new choose what you've never chosen before so you'll see all the things that you are waiting for we haven't gone down yet actually excellent we did it <laughs> one of the other ones was a complete guess it's the cloud pill you need it to create the prov jill arrow yay we did it now do we have to reverse our process or just purposely make a wrong choice ah thank you thank you very much we entered ourselves back into the beginning of this whole process i wish i think we could have just gone down <laughs> all this time but the labyrinth will deny us of that freedom i feel quite happy doing that being able to solve that the first time I'm not sure everybody has been able to do that because some of those clues were quite obscure with the one which was about um, gosh I think it's the third to last one when it discussed about not the wind or the one which we have not gone down yet but the other one which did not lead us into a particular direction it was quite obscure see his peak and to the left, peak of the final paw. We'll go to the final paw then. Actually, we'll speak to the seer first. <laughs> or whoever you are. Hello! Scared sheep go. Oh, who are you? Are you hiding from the sapphire too? I'm really scared. I went to the store to fetch some water medicines for my mother. She is very sick. At least we still have water. I'm afraid there'll be a queen tack here in these camps and we'll be able to fight it. I just want to sleep and wake up after all of this is over. But I can't do this. I have to help my mother. I have to be brave. You go, girl. You do that, girl. Mm. See us peak. To know about the destinations of this season, offer the seer what you want. Hmm. Tired sheep soldier. Hello, you. Have you come to try to get the clock cloud too? Look, I don't know what else to do. I just wanted to be playing my banjo somewhere else. I hate being a rebel, but if I sleep forever, I'll never play my banjo again. Unfortunately, life isn't made of good things like music, right? These not important things like war and food need to be solved. Anyway, I did all the things that could be done here, and nothing made any seer show up. I know that in the past the elders came here and offered to this seer something in return for a blessing. Sometimes something of equal value. I've never seen this seer, and I have no idea of what I could give to a divine creature to make her appear. After all, what's of equal value to a cloud? Sorry, clock cloud. I tried to give her some leaves, I asked for help, I talked to the skies, that is important. Nothing worked. Mm. Food is important, and being able to solve war conflicts is also important. Not nice, but important. You have a cloud pill with you, do you want to give it as an offering? Mm. I'll try to get another after this. Um, let's hold on on that thought. I wonder if there's something else we can give it instead. Otherwise, this could be all over. There's a breeze. I'm so worried. I was sent to get a cloud pill with this renegade heavy soldier. But now he's at the edge of a cliff and... I don't know. I mean... We all got the cloud pilled, but he's with it. Out of the blue, he came, became thoughtful about our future and our past. He said he needed some time that I should wait here. 
Are you here because Harriet sent you? What should we do? Are you going to talk to him? Please be careful. I'll try my best. I'll do my best. No, no. Listen. I'm not afraid of him jumping. The fall isn't fatal. My fear is that he's leaving. There is a rumor that beneath the clouds there is a large mansion. Rumors say there is no war salvation there. On the contrary, they say there's so much food that you may be even be sick of eating. I don't believe it, but what if he leaves us? Leaves me? Oh dear, does one such a thing to their friend? True friends never separate from one another. Don't you do this. Don't you do this, okay? Hmm. Who are you? And what exactly do you want? The cloud pill? Yes, I know Harriet wants this as soon as possible. But what about what we want? Have we no voice in this revolution? I don't know if you spoke to my life mate as soon as you arrived. She knows what I'm talking about. I'm sad that we seem to be tools in this battle. I was accustomed to reading magical stories about our worlds, about other worlds and about the adventures of a thousand heroes. The rectangular screens showed their happy lives and that they were willing to help. When I read my own story, I don't have that joy. I want to get rid of that story of mine. To do this, I need to go to the mansion and start a new life. They say that there is plenty of food and well-being there. If it's true, I don't know. But I feel like jumping to find out. Don't fear for my life. The fear isn't fatal anyway, so... If you came here to hear my cries, what do you think about all of this? May I ask, what do you think of looking for this mansion of plenty? Maybe you can come with me. My life mate won't my life mate won't do it, but perhaps will you? I know this sounds cruel. Abandon who wants me around, but I'm tired of this world of dreams. I need to unload my fears elsewhere. What kind of abundance do you mean? Don't talk nonsense. Jeremy defines how uncertain is not rational. Is a mansion more valuable than your beloved? Mm, maybe you should reshape your story. Starting over isn't wrong. Isn't it? Now I just need to get out of here and go somewhere and... Uh, no, that's no good. Um, that wasn't really what I was talking about. There is change without abandoning the past. Well, but how? I never heard those lines of support before. I need something palpable and fast. I'm tired of doubts. Harriet isn't sure of anything. Maybe your words are true in some reality, but my reality, my reality is an endless nightmare. I know you're waiting for me to hear what you tell me and after that you want I get out of here happy. But things are not like that. For now, for now I'll give myself the benefit of doubt about leaving, but I haven't made up my mind yet. And if you want the item you need, here it is. Tell my life mate, I'm still here. Apologize her in my name. I know I'm weak. We've got the second pearl. Goody good, 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 good. Lovely. We've got two cloud pills. So is he going to stay? Have you convinced him? Oh, I see. He's still thinking. But at least he didn't jump yet. I have faith in him. In fact, I have faith in everyone. I think everyone who wants to jump will find a way out here. He cries out for help and I'll help him. Good on you. So we have two cloud pills. But you can offer one of them to a seer. But the question is, is there something else in which we can give to him? Because don't we need two cloud pills to be able to make the cannonballs? Hmm. Um, cool. Okay, Harriet. What is this thing you're carrying on your back? 
on my back is my sword, it's called semicolon. <laughs> I gained this sword not long ago, but it's already part of me. The semicolon is a symbol of my family, but it was being forgotten over the ages. Now it represents more than a family symbol, but also the hope for us all. This story won't finish today, but rather will continue with a comma that leads us to much more. Yeah, thank you. Uh, well, where should the cloud pills be? The cloud was divided one of the rest, where we sent a renegade castle guard and his partner check for it. Both didn't return yet. The other one is in the east. There's thought of a labyrinth there. The elder sheep used the labyrinth as a test for our adulthood. If you get their locations, just ask me again, then I'll always be glad to help. I need to know where to actually put these. Hmm, maybe you can help me with the location of the clock cloud. The clock cloud is in a cliff area, northwest of here. There lives a seer. She's quite different from all other sheep. Also, she's been sleeping for a long time, so we didn't succeed in getting the item with her, but we're trying to figure out how to wake her up. Hmm. I'm conflicted because neither of these two are telling me where I should place these such items. Do you think there will be a way to wake everyone up? We're investigating then. Although Rudolf helped me in the creation of Morphus's system, the main engineer was a priest of the dreams by order of my mother. Probably both have a solution for that. Sometimes I think they created this variable on purpose, just so that it would be a path of no return. Yikes, Captain. Yikes indeed. Save for now. I don't know. Like, is there some way of being able to do this without sacrificing one of the pills? Bird statue is strange, but it seems to breathe. <laughs> They're all out there. Yes, I want some, thank you. Oi, oi, here it is. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> damn it. The oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have an idea. What if we give the soup to the seer? Because it's not an important item for this such thing, but we can maybe give it to the seer. Um, do you want to? Yes. Um, hot soup for the seer. Oh, here it is. Hi there. Yummy! Is this soup? I love soup! It's so good to know that someone still cares about me! <gasps> I can't wait to devour the soup! But don't worry, little friend. If you offered me this delicious soup, you certainly want something, won't you? So, what is this about? Oh, do you need a clock cloud? There's no problem with that, little friend. I'll give you one of those clock clouds, no doubt. How could I deny something to someone who cares so much? Anyway, I overslept. Things have changed. These fields are no longer the same. The sheep suffer. Things are coming into my mind little by little, little friend. Your name, for example. You're Lennon. Oh, little Lennon. How many dangers still await you? But fear not. I'll try to show you how your paths are whenever you need to know. If you doubt your goodness or your crooked ways, talk to me. I can't tell you your next steps, but I can tell if they are straight or crooked so far. Without further ado, Lennon, Lennon, here is your clock cloud. Hope it helps you and all the sheep. Thank you. 
It's McLaughlin. You need to create ammo for the prov Jill cannon. We have what we need. Oh, little Lennon, do you want to know about your ways? How your path is so far? As long as these fields exist, I can talk to you about it any time. Please tell me about my paths. As you wish, little Lennon. Let's start. Don't be alarmed by the fire, little Lennon. It won't really burn the plants. Oh, oh, I see. So far, your paths have been based on positivity. Your choices are calculated and have taken you to a decent future at this location. Keep thinking before you answer a question or before you act and your future will be great, little Lennon. However, don't let your self-criticism destroy your ego. It's necessary to ponder without self-sabotage. But remember, I only see what you do here. To know about each path of each place, look for the seer of that area. And that's all for now, little Lennon. I hope it has allocated eluted you by now. I've never heard of that word before. Don't forget, the answer is inside you. We will win this battle together. Yay! We did it! Man, did you awaken the seer? I think I helped you one way or another. I mean, how could I not? I helped you because I was a failure. Because I was a failure, you had your chance. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just want my banjo. Anyway, congratulations. Let's end this battle once and for all and celebrate with music. Maybe I can celebrate with music if I join the Morpher system as well. No. Don't say that. We'll celebrate in real life soon. Oh my. Sorry. I guess you're right. Maybe I need a break as a soldier for now. And more than anything, I need music. I'll try to find my banjo. See you after this madness, my friend. See you. Oh, yeah. Make the correct choice. See us peak to know about the destinations of this season. Offer the seer what you want. It's, it's decided. We have the soup. A brainwave just hit my head. I'm thinking, this soup could be worthwhile. Are you 32? If so, I think water is something you can get for free in the store. No missions involved. I want this to end and that my mother gets better. I'm so afraid of never dreaming again with a good future. If that's what you want, girl, then I shall try my best to get water that you and your mother deserve. Hmm. So, veteran, are you happy with this old backpack? I can't imagine why it's so important to you, but who am I to say that, right? Hmm, box full of water bottles. Hey, veteran, water is free around here. It should be free anywhere, but you know how things are, right? Go ahead and pick one. Yes. It's a good thing we did not offer the water to the seer. We did things in the correct order. Are you thirsty too? If so, I think water is something you can get for free in the store. No wishes involved. I want this to end it. Okay, good. I want you to have this water. Hmm. Oh, I thought I thought I gave you the water. No. Why did I come here then? A cloud pill, cloud pill, cloud clock, fresh water. Cool. Excellent. We have water. Water is good. Water is very good. Let's go back then. Let's see what is up with our friends. We have the items. So, Lennon. Have you got the items for the Prov, Jill? Holy smokes! This is amazing! We can produce ammo for the cannons! The barrier! We'll destroy it! If we invade the castle, we'll find a way to deactivate the Morphous system and to wake up all of the sheep that has fallen asleep. I think destroying the system would be better than just deactivating it. 
We have no time to lose. Let's start the ammo production. Soon this nightmare will end and our people will be free and happy again. Oh yeah. We did it. We thoroughly did it, guys. We so did it. Cannonballs. Listen well, all of you. This barrier will be destroyed now. After that, for sure, the Royal Guards will attack us. We need to prepare a defensive position, as we planned before. Lennon, listen to me carefully. When we get inside the castle, I'll need you to search for two crystals to open the Sapphire's room. You need to break them. The Morpheus system is inside her room. As we battle, you'll be able to do it. Probably some guards will continue to keep an eye on those items, but you need to try. My mom doesn't know you, and she'll probably think that you are to threat. Let's use this in our favor. You'll use my weapon, the semicolon, to break the crystals inside the castle. When we get inside the castle, be aware of the heavy guards. They're really big, and if they see you, they'll kick you out of the room. I mean, I don't think they'll hurt you since you're not one of us. At least. Not if you run fast enough. Don't fear it. You'll handle it. But now, let's get down to business. Attention! Be ready, guards! As soon as the barrier falls, we go to a bridge leading to the castle. I want all of you ready. I don't know exactly what my mother's plan is, but we will stop it now. Rudolph, please report our goals today. <laughs> Repeat our goals today. Gosh, this feels like um, Pokemon Sun and Moon, where the daughter has to rise up against her mother. <laughs> As you wish, my commander. Listen well, guards. We'll fire two Provdil cannons on the barrier. After that, for sure it'll be destroyed. Then we move forward to the castle. Volunteer guards should stay here at the edge of the Nazia field to prevent citizens from coming to the castle too early. Also, you must stop the Queen's soldiers from going to the Nazia fields. They'll try to kidnap our people. You, Lennon. You'll be responsible for searching for the crystals inside the castle. After that, the doors of the Morphous system room will open. Using the semicolon, you can break the crystals. That's all. Everybody, let's start the attack. Push. Ooh, diminishes the barrier. I like. Yes, we did it. Let's go to the castle. Everyone, attack. The attack begins then. That's enough, mother. We'll besiege the castle and shut down the Morpheus system, whether you like it or not. Bless you, then. Aren't you going to say anything, mother? Why do you act so strangely with those who have always supported you? Why have you changed so much? Guards, prepare the attack. What? Are you going to attack your own child in order to feel better about yourself? I'll destroy this gate now. Ooh. Gosh, we'll enter the castle now and you can't stop us. Lennon, please go ahead. Okay, wish I was a book nearby so we can save our progress. <laughs> mm, so this is the place. Lennon, the guards will make a collective attack now. There will be battle in almost every room of the castle. Oh my, this castle it has changed a lot. The walls are connected with some kind of energy. These blue flames. They are realistic. Sorry, ritualistic, Lennon. Something strange is happening here. There is no time to waste. Take my sword and go to the crystals. 
they need to be destroyed. They are probably at the edges of the castle, on the right side and on the left side. I'll help the guards as best as I can, don't worry about me. The other guards are coming little by little, just like Rudolph and then the citizens. After we take the castle back, and remember Lennon, avoid contact with any royal guard. Semicolon is a dangerous weapon but it is necessary to know how to handle it. Also, whenever you are close of any guard, so whenever you are close of any guard, you won't be able to use your backpack, otherwise they'll see you. Got it? Do you need... Do you need that I repeat it? I got it. We're counting on you to open the main door. Yay, good luck, Lennon. We have the Thord. We have the big old Thord. Right, folks. We will invade this castle post-haste in the next episode, so... Thank you all so much, and see you all in the next time of Leonard the Lion. Have a wonderful day, and take care of yourselves.